All right, welcome back, Cosa 50 and 650 folks. Professor Almeida here. Uh, I know it's just been a day, but happy Thursday. Uh, hope that all is well wherever you may be. Now that we have dived deeper into Excel, okay, hopefully you've checked out your Canvas inbox and you saw that little pep talk that I wrote toward the end of class yesterday. Excel has a learning curve. I'm sure that you have figured it out already and no one said that it was going to be easy but if you step back and think about how far you have come along in this course right uh, beginning with computer concepts getting online software apps hardware safety and security and then we got into word and powerpoint now here we are in the back half with spreadsheets with excel Okay, you've made it this far. Now is not the time to give up and throw in the towel. Okay, if you haven't been showing up to class, I trust that you have been going through the training sims. You're looking at the project walkthrough videos that I've provided for you. And if that's still not enough, remember that you have all of these lifelines available to you. Okay, we have uh, the COS tech support. If you can't go to M229 or if AA206 is closer to you, you know, you can Zoom uh, with our instructional assistants uh, to get help with the concepts and your assignments. You can reach out to the Student Technology Help Desk if you need help with Microsoft 365 on your system. You can reach out to Cengage Tech Support if you're having trouble with SAM. Uh, you have all these resources at your disposal. Please do take advantage of them. Okay, uh, if you haven't been coming to class, you know, and if you've if you've taken classes online, you know how hard it is to succeed if you are not disciplined. So, I know I'm sounding like a broken record, but your first step towards success is walking through that door. Uh, Mondays and Wednesdays at 10 15 in the morning okay so thank you for coming to class and attending and then following along with what we're doing in class and if you fall behind or if this seems frustrating you know again you do have those videos and you know computers they are dumb machines you gotta wait for them to tell you gotta wait for them to tell you what to do and if at any time you feel like that uh, you're getting frustrated and, you know, it happens to all of us, you know, step back, uh, get some fresh air, and then come back. Remember, it's only an assignment, okay? It's only a class. Someone is almost always there to get you out of whatever difficulty you're having, okay? So, uh, again, take a look at that pep talk that I've left you in the Canvas inbox. Onward, let's talk about the game plan for next Monday and Wednesday, especially since week 10 is open and available to you. So on Monday, we will cover chapter three with Excel. And then on Wednesday, you'll have your Excel exams. By the way, if you need to see the project walkthroughs, they are right here in week nine, along with what we will be covering for each chapter. So for chapter three, as you can see here, we're going to do some more formatting. You'll learn how to use the if function, which uh, behaves just like an if then else statement in programming. You'll learn how to use absolute and mixed cell references in formulas. And then we'll get into goal -see. So for example, let's say you run a coffee stand and you want to find out how to maximize your profits based on uh, the three different blends you have. How many cups do you need to sell of each? Well, we can use what's called Goal Seek uh, to do that. So you'll learn how all of that works on Monday. And then, like I said, on Wednesday, you have your exam day. Let's make sure we stay on top of things, especially now that we're in the back half of the course and point opportunities are going to be getting fewer and fewer. Also, keep in mind that we're only spending three chapters with Excel. Later on, when we start prepping for the MOS using Gmetrics, that's where we're going to fill in the gaps so that you can be ready to take the MOS and you know, hopefully pass on your first try. Okay, I want you to walk out of here from COSA 50 with more than just a grade, okay? Potentially with an industry certification that you could put on your resume. Anyway, 
Have a good weekend. Take care of yourselves out there. And I'll see you all on Monday.